A CT scanner was developed by Dr. Housefield, who realized that we could make a rotation of x-rays around the patient. So here's the patient's head and shoulders. This is our CT gantry. And our x-ray source is the orange dot. The x-ray source will send x-rays through the patient to a row of detectors behind the patient. And then by circling this x-ray source and the x-ray detector, we can then digitally synthesize a cross-sectional slice through the human body that's only a few millimeters thick. And how do we look at these? X-rays will pass through objects that are less dense more easily. So air will be black. So for example, here's some air within the stomach. Fat is not as dense, and so it's kind of a dark gray color. Water will be kind of an intermediate color. Uh, looks a lot like the liver. And bone will be dense. It's made of calcium, a type of metal, and uh, metal such as from a surgery will be very, very dense. And by looking at the various densities, we can make different diagnoses. For example, this is a person who has terrible flank pain. And if we look carefully at the kidneys, we can see that there is something in the kidney. Does everyone see this white dot? That's a kidney stone. And kidney stones are made of calcium. It's a type of metal. It's very dense. We can see it very well.